Today, let us discuss the important topic, the classification of plant diseases. The plant diseases are various types and diseases may be classified in various ways on the basis of like host plant affected and part of the plant affected, symptoms produced, symptoms produced in the host plant and the mode of spread and severity of infection and also through the causal organisms or factors. We see the host plant affected such as cereals, millets, fruits, trees, vegetables, etc. And the parts of the plants affected such as roots, stem, leaf, flower, fruit, etc. And the symptoms produced in the host plant such as some of the diseases like wilt, blight, soft rot, anthracnose, rust, smut, mildew and dampling of etc the not only through the host plant affected part of the plant affected and symptoms produced in the host plant the mode of spread and severity of the infection this also causes the plant diseases and through the mode of the spread and severity of infection such as epiphytotic endemic sporadic and pandemic you can observe which comes under the mode of the spread and the severity of the infection. Now, in this slide, we can observe the classification of plant diseases which are based on the spread and severity of the infection. There are four types like endemic diseases, epidemic diseases and sporadic and pandemic. We come to the endemic diseases. The disease which is classified as endemic means when it is constantly present in a moderate or severe form and is confined to a particular country or district. For example, we have the disease of potato. What disease of potato which is caused by Syncytrium endobioticum is an endemic in the Darjeeling where it shows that it is constantly present in the moderate or severe form and confined to a particular re, particular country or a district. It is the endemic diseases. In the plant pathology, this term is generally applied to the simple interest diseases which are indigenous or of ancient introduction. Coming to the epidemic or epiphytotic diseases where epi, epiphytotic diseases shows a disease which is usually occurs widely but periodically in a destructive form is called epidemic or epiphytotic diseases and the pathogen may be present as in endemic diseases but the environmental factors responsible for the development of the disease occurs only periodically for example like cereal rust powdery mildews etc coming to the next slide uh, we come across sporadic diseases where the sporadic diseases are belonging to the epidemic group and they may be termed the term uh, sporadic disease is applied to the those diseases which occur at regular intervals and locations and in relatively fewer instances and coming to the pandemic diseases pandemic diseases we come across an outbreak pandemic outbreak is an epidemic which occurs over a vast and extensive areas causing a severe losses this occur all over the world and result in mass mortality for example like late blight of potato in plants late blight of potato is the pandemic diseases a pandemic disease and we can see recently coronavirus it is also a pandemic disease comes under the group pandemic and the diseases which are classified according to the major causal factors the walker 1969 has classified plant diseases into three main groups first non-parasitic diseases second is parasitic diseases and 
the third group is mycoplasmal and viral diseases which are based on the major causal factors these are further subdivided on the basis of causal agency or organism involved there are some of the examples for the non parasitic diseases parasitic diseases and mycoplasmal and viral diseases we see in this table some of the examples like non parasitic diseases where it shows low temperature due to low temperature there will be a freezing injury in a crop and high temperature high temperature in the flax there will be heat canker of the flax and unfavorable oxygen in the which causes unfavorable oxygen which causes the black hot of potato unfavorable soil moisture due to unsoil unfavorable soil moisture condition the flooding injury will be occurred due to injurious atmosphere the apple scab or black tip of the mango will be seen lightning injury the damage to the potato plants due to lightning mineral excess due to the mineral excess the internal bark necrosis of the delicious apple you can observe some of the non parasitic diseases or this following and we come across the parasitic diseases in parasitic diseases we come across bacteria plasmodiophora mycota and o mycota ascomycota basidiomycota dipteromycota due to some of the spores it causes the parasitic diseases and in the bacteria the bacterial blight of potato you can see it is the bacterial diseases and plasmodius foro mycota where the club root of cruciferous family you can observe and o mycota the late blight of potato and what of the potato were caused by the parasitic diseases and ascomycota are got of the pearl millet basidiomycota pink disease of citrus due to dipteromycota blast of the rice you can observe coming to the mycoplasmal spiroplasmal viral and viroidal diseases in the brinjal we can observe the little leaf of the brinjal which is caused by the mycoplasmal and the citrus stubborn tobacco mosaic and potato spindle tuber in this all you can observe the mycoplasmal spiroplasmal and viral viroidal diseases 